In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. You're very welcome to the Brendan Option. Coming to you courtesy of a Macalata Productions, I'm Father Brendan Kilcoyne. If you like this work, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out, and uh, it doesn't cost you a penny. Keep me in the prayers, and uh, keep the comments coming. St. Patrick, it's back again. Yeah? It hasn't gone away, you know. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. It's come around again. I don't mean to be disrespectful. I suppose I'm referring, and I've talked about this before, about the whole really quite tiresome, um, semi-pagan, mostly pagan uh, razzmatazz that surrounds the day now. But what about Patrick the Man? He's well worth getting to know, insofar as is possible. Keep in mind that we have original documents from him. Keep in mind as well uh, that uh, we owe a great deal to him. And also, I'd say to you, he's not as remote a figure as you may think. He's a very human figure. Patrick, often afraid, with a load of problems, dealing with barbarous princes and chieftains who'd kill a man for, you know, looking sideways at them, having to find, endlessly scrabble for money to pay people off, um, living in a really dangerous world. And Patrick, uh, backstabbed, misunderstood, um, looked down on carrying out a mission that was looked down on are you seriously telling me that there's nothing you can find in that that's comparable to our situation today or irrelevant to it I seriously advise you to start to get to know him you can start by reading the confession which is a short document it's nothing like Augustine okay it's a short document, but it's, it's very inspiring and it will bring you closer to this remarkable personality who played such a major role in bringing the faith to Ireland. I particularly want to give thanks as well. This St. Patrick's Day, uh, unlike many of the people who'll be painting their faces and attending various parades all over the country later. Um, I want to give thanks for uh, the fact that the faith hasn't died in Ireland, in spite of everything. And uh, for the many fine young people. Uh, sm the numbers are small, but they're many in the context of what we expected and in the context of the size of the country and the difficulty of the situation and all the rest of it. Exceptional young people who are emerging, they're there. So there is quite a bit for which we should be giving thanks. And uh, we should be doing it on this day. Um, not to St. Patrick, but with him to God. Uh, for the fact that the faith hasn't died, in spite of its being tested to the limit and betrayed from within as well as attacked from without. Keep that in mind. Mm? We are treasures in earth and vessels. We're frail and sometimes we're worse. Now, a little shout out, which again I did last year and I think the year before. Evangelium Ireland, 2020. Four is taking place on the eve of St. Patrick's Day on March the 16th next, on Saturday, March the 16th next, in St. Patrick's College, eh? get it? St. Patrick's College, Maynooth, County Kildare, Ireland, in the Pontifical University. Starting at 9 o'clock in the morning next Saturday, March the 16th, 9 o'clock in the morning, and going on 
all day until half six in the evening. Um, a very interesting roster of speakers, uh, including even your humble servant, uh, but far more distinguished speakers, I assure you. Um, I really think you should support this if you can at all. Yeah, even at the last minute, you could still go down there and support it. I often hear people say in the Irish situation, the Irish Catholic situation, oh, there's nothing happening. There's nothing going on. But there's there are lots of things happening at this stage. And there are lots of things going on. <clears throat> and you need to support them or they're going to stop happening and they won't go on. So even if this pulls you out of your comfort zone, and even if you had a whole load of otherwise uh, very worthy plans for next Saturday, I would ask you to consider cancelling those plans. Yes, cancelling those plans and getting your proverbial down to Maynooth College next Saturday, the 16th of March for Evangelium Ireland 2024. A lot of work has gone into this and it will not disappoint you. This is a time for trying to see through all the green beer and nonsense through to the sturdy, uh, yet vulnerable, uh, to the faith-filled and yet worried and oppressed figure of our father in faith, Patrick, who, as he called himself, the most rustic of men, a sinner, aren't we all? Patrick, our father in faith, pray for us. See you at Evangelium 2024 in Maynooth next Saturday. Be there or don't ever complain again. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen.